Hi guys, this is like a one fragrance video. Uh, someone in the mail sent me in the mail this week a, a decant of Rasputin, Rasputin um, from Swedoft. Uh, this house is like a, is obviously a Swedish house. Doft means fragrance. Uh, Swe is for Sweden. Uh, and I think it's kind of strange. This has kind of puzzled me a little bit about this house. I've known about it. I've heard about it, but only from people abroad, never from Swedes. Um, and now I did actually scroll back in my local like fragrance community Facebook group, and I saw that uh, there has been a little bit of talk about it, but I've totally missed it. Um, I've mostly heard like reviewers from like the UK, Americans, and so forth speak about it. Uh, and I've I've been a little like suspicious. I feel like they like this house likes to, they market their fragrances only by sending free bottles to reviewers. And I don't think I've ever heard a re review from someone who has actually bought the bottle themselves. Um, and I know that I, I heard it, now I heard it on um, Mr. Smelly's channel. His, his name is Dan. Um, he, he said that, you know, he got sent this 100 mil bottle for, for free. Um, but he also said he receives a lot of free stuff and not everything gets featured on his channel, which I think is interesting because that means that he has a lot of stuff that he might not like that he never features. And I think that this is what the, the reviewers typically do. They, they feature the things that they like, but they don't want to say something bad about a fragrance. So they don't feature it at, at all. That means that what we're actually receiving at YouTube is really just the positive stuff or you know, that it could also be that, you know, that they're a little bit positive, but make it really positive so that they will be sent more free stuff. I don't know. I just don't think this is a good thing. I would rather listen to people that have actually paid with their own money uh, for the fragrance. Um, another thing that's a little bit strange about this house is that the perfumer uh, has a really strange name. It doesn't sound like a Swedish name at all. It doesn't sound like a foreign name either. He calls himself Asfeon, I think, Asfeon A-J or J-A. Um, and when I looked him up, like on Facebook, there's no photo. He, he's kind of hiding. He's, he's an introvert. It even says on their website that he is kind of shy. He doesn't want the fame. He doesn't want the cred. He, he just kind of likes to work in the background. And there's another guy in charge as like the general manager of the house. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it just kind of, I don't know, uh, something about that is a little, it, I don't know. <laughs> I was a little bit surprised anyway that I liked the fragrance so much. Uh, it's actually a good fragrance. Uh, it opens up like pretty fruity. It has both like citrus notes and a pine pineapple note. And it's like, now I sprayed this on a while ago and there's not so much at the top left. It kind of disappears quite quickly, but then it gets kind of like, there's still a freshness and it's there's a lot of cardamom in this fragrance. It's like, it smells just like when you get out of mortar and pestle and start, you know, pounding on these like, little capsules and this, you know, these little black seeds that when the white starts coming out and that like cold, um, cold cardamom smell that comes out, like when it's not paired up with like, uh, baking spices and there's nothing sweet. It's just that cold kind of fresh smell that I get a lot of that in here. I get the cloves. I think there might be a note of ginger in here. And then there's there's incense in the base. I can get that and vetiver. I don't usually like vetiver. This is a definitely a masculine fragrance. It's like a more classic masculine. Um, but I like it. I'm like, I don't know so much about like these typical um, masculine perfumes. Like, but it of the ones that I've tried, it reminds me maybe a little bit of Ganymede. Gany, I'm not quite sure how to say again this this fragrance, but it has like. I think that one has a leather note though. This doesn't have leather, but it's like the, the freshness and the woodiness and the spiciness. This also has a note of dark chocolate. I don't quite get that. This has some oud, but it's not really there. It's kind of like barely there. Uh, and some incense in the base that I do pick up on. Um, and I think maybe that's what makes me like it is the incense because that makes it kind of interesting. And I, what I like about it too, it has like, there are these layers. Um, there's something to discover. And it has, it's a distinctive kind of like phases. Like here's the opening, here's the mid, now's the dry down. And I think this for a guy, this would be really, really nice as like an everyday kind of scent. Something you could just grab, get in the car, go wherever you're going. It's like a dumb reach. I really hate that expression, but you know what I mean? Like something really, an easy grab, I would say. Easy grab is much better than dumb reach because, or let's just call dumb reach a smart reach because 
those are the kind of fragrances that are worth buying. And I think I like the price point of this too, because it's only like 100 mil is like 130, $140, which is a really good price for, I think, for niche perfumery. And they also offer smaller sizes, 30 and 50 mil, which is, I think is a great size. So maybe this house deserves a little more attention. I don't know why I've been so negative, but um, Chris from Fragmental and Steve from Frags to Riches, I know has spoken on this on their podcast. So I'd, I'd heard the name quite a few times, but since they received these bottles and they've just gotten sent them, I haven't really listened because I don't trust these guys. And Chris has, has like a, a video with a, like a, what he thinks is like a Swedish girl with like big boobs and like there's a Swedish flag background just kind of as a clickbait. And I think it's really stupid, like per portray uh, Swedish women this way um, and kind of downgrading. And I, I really don't like it. And that really bothers me. I think it's bad, um, but he actually likes the fragrance. And the other guy, uh, Steve, said this wasn't his cup of tea at all. I'm not quite sure why, but he, um, I don't know. I I like it. I like it. I think I'll wear it. I wouldn't buy a bottle. I think it's too masculine for me, but um, I, I it was surprisingly good. And I'd already kind of decided that I didn't like this brand because something about it just kind of makes me suspicious for some reason. Like, there's really nothing wrong in marketing your fragrances by sending out bottles. I mean, if they want to do that, they should do that. But like, I guess it's a problem for me as a consumer. You know, I don't think the company necessarily is doing something bad because obviously it's working or I don't know how they're doing this brand. Um, but it, what really interests me is that nobody here seems to discuss it much. It's, it's just not very talked about this fragrance. And I thought at this price point, it should be like more, more interesting. So this, I, I have a hard time finding a place to, where I can put my phone. I'm, this is kind of an amateur channel. I don't edit, you know, I don't clean up in the background. I have an empty dishwasher. I don't really care. Um, so if you don't care about these things, please keep watching and put a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Um, I'm just doing this for fun and I'm sure I could improve by, you know, uh, adding, or, you know, cutting away all the times I say, um, or if I clean up a little bit in the background. But on the other hand, I just find that it's just better that I go for it. I just press record and, you know, I'll say whatever I want to say. And it's just easy for me to do it. And this is what matters to me. Maybe one day I'll, you know, learn how to, you know, put up the the pictures of the of the bottles because this isn't so interesting to look at. I, I totally get that. So I could definitely improve. I will never put music on in the background, though. I think it's super irritating. And now I, I've even seen like that, one of my favorite reviewers is My World of Fragrance. Her name is Sam. And now she has like, in the background, she has this like sounds of someone uh, sp squirting perfume, spraying perfume. You hear these little ch -ch -ch -ch. And I think it's really, really stupid. It's just a distraction. Uh, just listening to her talk about fragrance is enough. It is really enough. And I don't think that why need a bunch of background music to talk about fragrance? Anyway, did those were just a few thoughts for today. Uh, do you know about this house, Swedoft? What do you think of it? Have you tried Rasputin? Do you have another favorite? I'm just curious to find out. Bye.